And more controversial statements from the rapper formerly known as Kanye West could potentially find him embroiled in a legal battle with the family of George Floyd. During a recent podcast interview, Ye, as he now goes by, questioned the cause of Floyd's death, suggesting it wasn't caused by Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer who was convicted of murder after he knelt on Floyd's neck for nine and a half minutes. NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalas joins us now to break it all down. And Danny, I'm curious, what specifically did Ye say here, and uh, could he be using some sort of free speech defense? Possibly suggesting that George Floyd died of a fentanyl overdose. Uh, does he have a defense? Well, that depends on if a lawsuit's ever brought. And although you may hear attorneys today saying, we're considering a lawsuit, the magic words you didn't hear were, we are filing a lawsuit. And that's because this would be a very difficult case. First, Defamation, you can throw that out right away. You cannot defame a deceased person. So is it intentional infliction of emotional distress? Well, first, it has to be extreme and outrageous. And as we just saw, a, uh, as an autopsy report concluded that there was fentanyl in George Floyd's system. So if the family wanted to litigate this, they would relitigate their loved one's death and then be litigating whether or not fentanyl contributed to the death. If fentanyl contributed to the death, then the defense will argue, Kanye, that this cannot be extreme and outrageous behavior because there was fentanyl in the system and it contributed to his death. Let's look closer at that because it was civil rights attorney Lee Merritt who's represented the Floyd family. He condemned the remarks and he tweeted, well, one cannot defame the dead. The family of George Floyd is considering suit for Kanye's false statements about the manner of his death, claiming Floyd died from fentanyl, not the brutality established criminally and civilly undermines and diminishes the Floyd's family's fight. So what is the legal action that they could possibly pursue here if it's not defamation? By the way, I saw Lee's comments. We can put them right back up if they're still there. I agree with every word that he said. There you go. It undermines and diminishes the Floyd family's right. I agree with that. Uh, was it rude to say? Yes. Was it insensitive? Yes. Is it legally actionable? I think his statement falls short of saying that, saying that we're only considering legal action. But uh, the reality is this would be a very difficult case to prove using the extreme and outrageous standard. What you see normally with intentional infliction of emotional distress, and I've alleged it myself, it's at the end of a long list of other claims. Why? It's kind of a catch-all. It's never your strongest case because it's very difficult to prove. So you put it in at the end. Maybe it's a bargaining chip. Maybe not. But it's not your lead uh, cause of action if you have a good case. So uh, this is a very difficult case to make out. I don't anticipate there will be a lawsuit, but no harm in saying on the record, like Lee did, that this was inappropriate and we're considering legal action. And Danny, real quick, we know that Merritt also said that they're considering potentially uh, similar uh, pursuit against Candace Owens, who made a documentary about George Floyd. Uh, could this same approach kind of apply to her legally? You might have a stronger case in the case of a documentary simply because there are so many statements contained in that documentary. But again, defamation, you almost completely rule that out because if it's a deceased person, they can't be defamed. It's the, if it's the family, maybe they were defamed, but you'd have to look very closely at the documentary. That would be hard to prove. But in a, if there is a false statement in there that somehow causes extreme harm, you'd have to prove it was extreme and outrageous. It's a very difficult standard, but possibly with a documentary because it's an hour plus long, however long it is. You have a lot of statements in there uh, that could potentially meet that standard. It's just a difficult standard to meet. Extreme and outrageous. Extreme right. and outrageous. All right. Danny yeah. Savalas breaking it all down. Danny, thanks so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.